and this is my mum Julie. Hello, I'm Lucy's mum. And welcome to today's episode of Awkward British Problems. Based on the wonderful book by Rob Temple and his Twitter account at So Very British and the Channel 4 television show very British problems. What are we discussing today, Mum? We are discussing the awkwardness of the Brits at work. Oh yes, huge topic. Huge topic. Mm. Let's start unpicking it. So this one is before you even get the job. It's writing a very modest CV because you're so worried that you're going to look boastful and arrogant. <laughs> yes, this is so true. Yeah. We hate that, don't we? Oh, we don't like to blow our own trumpets. And even when it comes to something like getting a job, it's very hard for us to self-promote. It doesn't come naturally, it doesn't feel right. You always play it down. It's just not the British way. No, I wonder why. We've always been like that, haven't we? And living in America, I noticed that the Americans, in their way, are just quite happy to sort of eschew all their goodness, all their qualities and things they're super good at and they're awesome. I'd never say I was awesome. <laughs> well, I'd say you're think? awesome. Well, thanks, Lucy. <laughs> Well, I think there's less need to self-promote because everyone understands that it's just not something that we do. Mm. Whereas maybe in America, because everyone else is doing it, you have to kind of yeah. put yourself forward a little bit more. Otherwise, you just get pushed to the back. Yeah, but it is awkward. Yeah. The next one is at a meeting saying, we'll come back to that, which clearly indicates that this person should stop talking immediately <laughs> and we'll never discuss the matter again. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah, we'll come back to that. Yeah. Like, we shut up. We all understand that's what it means, don't yes, we? I think. Yes. You know you're not coming back to that subject. So the very awkward moment at the end of a meeting, the person hosting says, any more questions? And you're all looking around, you think, don't, don't. And somebody puts their hand up. Oh. oh. You and fume with that person for days, don't you? Oh yeah, there's this collective, audible sigh mm. from the rest of the meeting. And there's always at least one. I don't know if it's because we're taught that you have to, you know, Put your hand up, step forward, lean in, all of that stuff, mm. and people feel like they need to say something, otherwise maybe they don't look like they're interested or mm. involved. But the rest of us Brits think, oh God, I want to go now, I've got, you know, I'm going yeah. down, I'm meeting my mates down the pub or something, yeah. you know, something far more important. You were done with this meeting probably a solid 45 minutes ago. Yeah. Possibly yeah. more. And it's dragging. It's like a training course when you have those. Oh, oh same thing. There'd always be one asking the most yeah. main questions at the end. You know who you are. <laughs> yeah, we're looking at you. <laughs> the next one is feeling compelled to do a exaggerated tiptoe mime as you leave a meeting while silently saying sorry, sorry. <laughs> because there's a phone call you need to take or something like that. It's a but Which is far more distracting than just <laughs> getting up and going. Yeah, I can't imagine any American doing that. Tiptoeing no. that and going sorry. And... Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's almost cartoon like, isn't it? Yeah. The mind we but do. I've done that. Yeah, me too. Yeah. 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 But otherwise, the Americans have got to take this and they'd yeah. be off. Yeah, I mean, no, 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 no tiptoeing, no, no silent sorry. No, no. no. Doing the creep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, you know, you're talking to somebody in the office and you're saying, oh, they haven't replied to my email yet. So the other person says, oh, why don't you give them a call? And you say, oh, I could do. Yeah, go on, ring them now. And then you say, oh, yeah, in a bit. And they say, yeah, I've got their number there. And you say, I'll just send them another email. Oh, we do anything to avoid phone calls these yeah, days, don't we? I, I know. know I do. I yeah. hate phone conversations. You know they're going to go on a bit. You send a quick email or message and it's yeah, gone, isn't it? You don't right. have to pack around. That's right. Because us Brits can't do a short phone call. No, it's true. You know, there's the prolonged greeting. Yeah. And then asking lots of questions, because, you know, to appear polite. Yeah. Yeah, you have to ask them about their day, about their family, mm. about, you know, whatever it is they've got going on. The extended farewell at the end. Yeah. You can't just say bye. Bye, 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 bye. Oh, you yeah. probably wouldn't say I no, love you. No, I wouldn't say I love you. And, uh, no, would it be embarrassing? Oh, yeah, that yeah. just slipped out. Yeah, yeah. That's... This is why we don't have phone calls. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, anything to avoid that. Yeah, just, <laughs> nah, just send another email. The next one is, at the end of an email, changing kind regards to just regards to indicate that you're very, very angry now. Says with regards, you know you've done something wrong. Oh my goodness me, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's funny, isn't it? All this kind of 
indirect communication that we do. Yeah, all the time. We don't just come out and say it. No, but we don't have to. No, we don't. It's quite clear from that exactly what we feel. Yeah. Yeah. In a way, it's more brutal, isn't it? Yeah. Because you know that they're saying it to other people. <laughs> We are definitely passive aggressive. Passive aggressive as mm. a nation, I think. Yeah, I think so, yeah. So as a nation, we do say please, the word please a lot. Mm -hmm. And we do in our emails too. There was a survey that I read that the British use the word please far, far more than say the Americans in their emails. Here's a little clip to show you what we mean. Did you know that the Brits use the word please more than twice as much as Americans in their corporate emails? Please find attached the report of our meeting, please. Please add your comments. Please add suggestions. Please add any amendments that you please deem necessary. Please speak to the GM and please ask him if he would please let us have the business plan ASAP, please. Also, please, please, please remind Barbara that it's her turn to bring the cakes. Pretty please. Chocolate is my favourite. <laughs> Yours pleasingly, Lucy. See what I mean? Oh, <laughs> I didn't know that. I don't know why we use the word so much, why we can't just ask. It's probably just good manners, isn't I it, think in it's, our yeah. society. Yeah, oh gosh, please and thank you. It's just drilled into you as a child, mm -hmm. which I think is lovely. Manners are so important. Manners maketh man. <laughs> what? <laughs> manners, manners maketh man. Yeah, it's a saying. Is it? Yeah. Why did you put an uh, Oh, it's an old-fashioned <laughs> saying. Makeup is the old-fashioned uh, way of saying me. No one says makeup. Yeah, but that's what it. I will get the quote. Oh, my... Pause the camera, and I shall, I shall, I shall explain it. Oh, pause the I camera. I don't know why you had to say it that way. Man is maketh man. It's a saying. Man is maketh man, and I didn't just make that up. Oh, it's a song by Henry Jackman and Matthew Margeson. Oh. oh. Oh, that looks like the lovely Colin Firth. What is the meaning of manners maketh man? A person may be judged according to his behaviour towards other people. Who said it? Someone very old, clearly. <laughs> yes, was apparently derived from the works of William Horman, circa 1440 and 1535. Oh gosh, very old. A school principal at Eton School in England, very posh. He wrote Bulgaria, which means everyday adages or common sayings. Manners maketh man being one of them. There you go. They'll all be using that now. I know. Yes, yeah, so I can't remember what that was all about, but yes. <laughs> It was about the please thing. Saying please seven times in an email maketh the person. <laughs> it's the, the So there. uneducated these days, these youngsters. Not like me. I blame the parents. <laughs> oh, this is one that I definitely feel in my heart and soul. Trying not to look crass in an email by using an exclamation mark, but then worrying that you're gonna look miserable if you don't <laughs> use one. That is I, so true. I'm always playing around with my punctuation. Yeah. Always. And it's different in a text or a message, you know, something uh, informal. It's true, but I still even do mm. it in those circumstances because you, you want to get the right like attitude across. And in in a message, I think which emoji shall I use? And I yeah. choose one, I think, ooh, that looks a bit suggestive. <laughs> or you're ooh, not using the orb. Oh, that looks like I'm a bit angry in that one and, <laughs> yeah. and I go through several of them before I think yes that's the yeah one. yeah this correctly conveys my character yeah yeah, yeah it's yeah. typical yeah. I love emojis but I feel like it has made texting more complicated mm. because you can't just write the sentence and full stop you have to yeah you have to emote yeah, yeah. that's right that's yeah. right you're right though with work emails You've got to be formal, but you don't want to sound miserable or too harsh. Yeah, that's right. Unless you need to be. That's true. Mm. Then no exclamation mark. And then it's um, regards. Yeah. <laughs> no regards with an exclamation mark. Yeah. That would be confusing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Gosh, what would we make of that? I don't know. Yeah. Not Probably drunk. That. Yeah. 
drunk. That is a huge problem for yeah. me. Yeah. And going on from that, Lucy, the horrible thought of actually putting kisses in an email and pushing send and just realising, oh, yeah. you know, love jewels, kiss, kiss, kiss. Is that because it's a habit, isn't it? Yeah, I know. I know. In Britain, we always do kisses at the bottom. Like X's. X's. Well, just in case they didn't know what an X was. <laughs> well, it might be like an X partner, so I was like this clarifies. <laughs> But it is difficult because I have messaged people at work and then I put kisses in and they're, ooh. Yeah. Especially if they say American, they don't understand the kiss system. Yeah, the kiss. <laughs> yeah, it's not so bad in Britain, I suppose. I mean, it'd be a bit weird. Yeah, but... a, bit, a bit weird. Especially if it's your male, if it's your male boss or something. Yeah, it'd be yeah. a bit flirty there, wouldn't it? Oh yeah, yeah. You might get promotion. <laughs> Inadvertently. Yeah, you might get more than you bargain for. Yeah. That's the trouble. Yeah, yeah you've be got to be very, very careful with those kisses. Yeah. So. Saying you're a bit chilly when somebody ups the air conditioning and you don't want to appear too rude, but your fingers and toes have actually turned blue mm. and completely numb. I hate being cold, so mm. I will indirectly ask for the air to be turned down all the time. Yeah, me too. Yeah, because again, living here, oh my goodness, you Americans, you're so fond of your air conditioning. <laughs> I hate it. I mean, I like it just enough to cool it down, but not so that, you know, it's blowing your hair all over your face and there's this horrible roar from the system. Yeah. yeah. You, you need to go overboard with these things, I think. I know. I know I've been on the phone at work and you can't hear what people are saying because the <laughs> air conditioner is roaring. Then they've got additional fans. Hello! <laughs> I can't hear you over the air conditioner. Yeah. You can hardly talk because your teeth are chattering. It's so yeah. cold. I'll start adding layers to like subtly mm. suggest that perhaps I might like it warmer, you know, first there'll be like a little cardigan and yeah. maybe the scarf will come out, then the woolly hat. And then the gloves. And then you, when I'm yeah, typing yeah. with gloves. Yeah, yeah. And like maybe nursing a mug of hot soup or something. Yeah. People come in from outside, they're in the shirts and t-shirts or a little top. And you look like you're dressed for Siberia. Yeah. It's very hard in Arizona to get the, the attire right because it's incredibly hot when you go outside, especially in the mm. summer. There's as soon as you go into a building, it's like sub zero, or at least yeah. it feels like it is. Yeah. And you have to bring like additional layers for when you're inside. Yeah, for sure. Or just keep moving. Don't stop. Just keep moving. <laughs> Quick jog just to warm the old body up. Yeah. <laughs> I think this one is something that's incredibly British. Mm -hmm. Taking your food out of the microwave too quickly whilst it's still cold because you don't want to upset the queue of people lining up behind you. Oh my god, if there was ever a nation to do that, it would definitely be the British. Oh yeah. Because you're so worried that there's a line forming and you're taking far too much time and you're going to upset everybody. Yeah, the tutting, you can hear the tutting. Yeah. And, oh, I'd much rather just eat cold food than, yeah, me than too. upset the queue of people. Yeah, yeah, because it seems forever when you're waiting for it, doesn't, doesn't it? it? Yeah, it's true. Oh, and it's like when you go to the coffee machine and you've pressed the wrong button and you've got, or you didn't miss your cup, or you know, you've, you've got chocolate tea. And <laughs> what do you do? Do you faff around and try and press the right buttons, or do you take your chocolate tea and <laughs> take the chocolate tea, I think. Make the most of it? Yeah, that's right. And I mean, you've only got yourself to blame, you pressed the wrong button. Yeah, but everyone's going. <laughs> <laughs> do you see what she's got? Yeah. You have to pretend like you did it on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely chocolate tea. You and don't drink cold. chocolate tea. <laughs> yeah. I think like the fear of being the person to hold up the queue is very mm, big in the UK. It is. You don't want to be that person. No, you, you really don't. No. no. So if you've got any problems that you find are a little bit awkward when you're at work, please let us know. And if you can relate to any of these that we've just mentioned, we'd love to hear from you. If you did like this little video, please like it. Please subscribe if you really loved it. I <laughs> <laughs> want to see some more. And we'll see you again soon, we hope. Bye. Bye.